Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got a viewer writing in. Title of the email is Body and Lens. So it looks like he's looking to upgrade here. This is Don. Uh, Don says, I've seen many of your uh, vlogs, blogs, and find them very interesting. The Nikon D5100 with the Tamron 16-300 to lens, uh, I find it my lens of choice. So I'm assuming that's what you have, Don. you got a 5100 right now and the Tamron 16-300. to I just got a Nikon 10-24 to lens and planning a trip to use it. Money is an issue, so I checked Amazon and eBay where I got the Nikon lens. I like the idea of upgrading, but I find myself questioning my motives. It is between the Nikon D5500 and the Nikon D7100. So, um, thanks for your question, Don. So what it looks like here is Don has a D5100, so an older version of the current D5500. And he's got a Tamron 16-300, to which is a good all-around travel lens. Um, lot, good range as far as... Um, you know, you can walk around without switching lenses. You got 16 on the wide, 300 on the long. You got most of your stuff covered, um, and that's 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 why we like those as travel lenses. It minimizes your kit, gives you a, a, a huge range, and you don't have to be out there switching lenses. Sometimes in inhospitable environments, to the situation of switching a lens, you don't want to get rain or dirt or whatever into your camera. So uh, D5500 and D7100 is the cameras he's looking at to upgrade his 51. 55 is an obvious upgrade from the 51 simply because it's the same body uh the same body line anyways there's a lot of advancements in the 55 newer um, sensor more resolution better performing sensor we're into a carbon fiber body here um so very strong light little body um good flip out screen and the 51 i don't think back at the point the 51 i, I don't think it had those the, the fancier build materials in it um, so you're getting uh, into a, a very nice, light, capable camera. Essentially, the exact same sensor as we've got in the 7100. So uh, image quality-wise, there's not going to be really any difference between the two. Um, the 7100 has your more professional uh, body style with your dedicated controls for aperture and shutter speed and whatnot. I tend to like that body style better unless I'm in a situation where the ultimate deciding factor is size and weight, in which case then the D5500 might be the choice if I was doing a lot of backpacking or hiking or traveling on foot where the, the weight of the system I'm carrying is the ultimate. Not a lot of weight difference, but the 5500 is definitely smaller and lighter. So um, the autofocus system, I think, is a little bit better you're going to find in the 7100 than the 5500, although the 55 is very capable. And so I think it comes down to the two things. Don't be expecting better image quality out of the 7100 versus the 5500. You want to judge between smaller and lighter versus a little bit larger body with more controls and more of a professional layout. Uh, in the 7100. I tend usually to go for that unless, I, as I said, that I have something I specifically want a smaller, lighter camera for. So those are the two reasons you're going to want to decide between the two. Uh, if you're happy with your 5100 and its controls and the size and weight, you probably do want to stay with a 5500. A 51, um, you know, you, you, would, you would have a very easy switch over, a very easy upgrade path. It would seem very natural to you. 7100 would be a little bit of a learning curve, but again, if you're somebody, you may find yourself, uh, and again, here's what you should probably do is get your hands on both of them and try them out. I always recommend to do that. Get down to a store and try them out first. Um, but the 7100, you know, it's, it's a lot of times where I really like to have the dedicated shutter and aperture controls, um, the, the more professional looking size body and, and, and layout of controls. But again, if size and weight are an issue and you're happy with the 51, go with your 55. What do you guys think? Do you agree with me? Uh, are those the deciding factors? Is there something else he should consider of why he would buy one over the other? Let us know what you guys would do and why. Let us know in the comments below. Always great to hear your feedback and to help out our viewers. Because um, differing opinions, you know, like gets, lets people think, hear what people have to say, and then make their own decisions. So thanks for your question, Don. Looking forward, uh, looking forward to hearing what you guys have to say. Talk to you soon here at ArtOfTheImage.com.